Hey everybody, Big Daddy Biggs, West Louisiana Beef Farm. How y'all doing? It's good to see y'all. It's good to be seen by y'all. I just wanted to share with you uh, something, a really quick video. It's the easiest, simplest way for you to make a comfort hive from a Langstroth hive that you already have an active colony in. So stay tuned. This is the best way you'll ever see to do it. Okay, so long story short, I'm getting away from the Langstroth hives. Uh, I'm moving into the Sam Comfort hives, and I've been trying to figure out a way that I can take all of my, my current Langstroth hives and kind of convert them over into Sam Comfort hives without a whole lot of effort involved, and then turn around and sell all of my nukes, my five-frame nukes and my Langstroth hives to uh, the general public, whoever wants to, to kind of get into beekeeping. So without further ado, let me show you how this process works. It is so unbelievably easy that you can take this hive. Now, go ahead and take the lid off. You can see there's no bees in it. Uh, this is one I just pulled out of the bee yard that didn't have anything going on. And I wanted to, I was in my shop today. I'm like, how in the heck can I go ahead and convert these hives over uh, without building some kind of monstrosity like I built last year to get this job done. It's so simple, y'all. All you need is a pocket knife, Reflectex, and a stapler. I swear that's all. And, a, of course, a Sam Comfort box. So let me show you what the finished product looks like. That's it. That's the finished product. Now, I know looking at it from this angle, you're not seeing a whole lot about how I did this. But all I did is I took a sheet of Reflectex, and you can you can trim this up. I mean, it doesn't have to be so obnoxiously big that it's hanging out everywhere. Uh, this is just a quick video on just how to get this done. Uh, what I did is I took a, a sheet of Reflectex, and I laid it on top of this. Okay? And then I put my Sam Comfort box... Isn't that thing beautiful? Man, it's hardwood. It's been sitting out all year in the weather. So I put the box on top of here. This is kind of difficult to do. So you want to... Look at that. Little critters coming out of it. You want to make sure you get your box kind of not level. Not, I mean, not even. Not level. Listen at me. Lay your box up there to where you got an equal amount on both sides. Okay, you kind of see that? And then you just cut a hole in your Reflectex and then staple your Reflectex to your box and Viola! Now you may not be you may not be quite getting it, so let me let me go ahead and finish this thing up. So you see I've got my my skewers laid in the top of the box. And then what I'll do is I'll take that and put on top of the skewers. And then I'm gonna put my 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 uh ceramic tile actually i'm probably going to use a piece of plywood on top of this because i want to drill a hole and put a feeder on it okay uh, a bucket feeder so that's that's pretty much it and i'll give you one more little tip whenever i'm starting a new sam comfort hive i'm not sure if you can see this i kind of wrap my skewers with a little bit of foundation just to give them a kind of a guide, because otherwise they may they may fill this box up all kind of crazy ways. So I just try to wrap my skewers with a little bit of a uh, a little bit of wax. So anyway, that's it, man. I'm I'm excited about this because I, <coughs> excuse me, I can build a hundred of these in a couple of days and have all of my my 
five frame nukes converted over. I can sell my five frame nukes and then I can have these going to start off for next year or later on this year. I think it's kind of cool. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you see any improvements I can make, let me know or whatever. Hey, I appreciate y'all watching.